And hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Some Games TO, and we're going to be continuing our build of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, the capital of Canada. And in the last segment, we did our build of the University of Ottawa, and that is going just fine. A bit of a drop in students, but other than that, it is going okay. We do we did get to one additional academic work. And today we are going to be making, we are going to be working towards the northern part of the city over here. And let's take a look at what that district is called. It is called Lower Town, and that is where we are going to be continuing our build towards that part of the city. I'm just going to take a quick look at how that all comes together. It does appear to be a mixture of commercial and residential usage. And right before we get to that, I am going to put in some residential zoning in this area first, as we have got some residential demand. Let me just go ahead and zone all of this. And here, as such, up to there. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint in the area here. Or, I should not paint, well, paint in the district area for Lower Town, I think it is called. Yes, Lower Town. Okay. So let's take the brush and paint in this area. We'll call this Lower Town. Nope, not up to there, just to the river. I'm going to try to get this area here as well. Oh, there we go. And just along the river bank here. And we put that in there, just like this. There we go. And that is going to be called Lower Town. Okay. Lower Town. <laughs> All right, and so let's start putting in the roads for that area. Let's just take a quick look here and see how residential development is coming along. People are definitely moving in, and we've had 10 visitors for the Swift Kona Park, which will, indefinite, which will ultimately increase because of the fact that we have more residents moving into the area now. And they are definitely moving in and what is the population of it now 6,000 just above 6,000 okay so now let's go take a look at this road over here and let's see which way this is gonna go so that goes all the way to the end, turns into a highway actually eventually but we were not gonna make it a highway because we don't need to um, but we will bring it all the way there. Curve, curve, and out. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and make finish off of this road here. There we go to there. We'll use the curve. And then it just comes across here like that. Okay. So we'll just leave it at that there and we're going to name it the King Edward Avenue take it all the way to there there we go okay and then the next road that is going to come in that we're going to put in is we have something called Colonel Road that breaks off and comes around comes around turns and then goes up at the bottom of lower town so I'm going to put that in yes squiggly tool is perfect there we go to there and 
And let's see which way it goes. Okay, so it crosses this road straight. Almost straight. And then from there, it kind of goes straight. Okay, and let's keep that going. And that'll go to uh, Murray and St. Patrick Street, but I think I'm only going to put in... Should I put in both? Hmm, I'm wondering here. Because those are one-way streets. Um, I am going to go all the way up, and then in the center there we have St. Patrick and St. Murray Streets. And this goes all the way to the end. It crosses back into King Edward. So I will take it to there and cross it back into King Edward. And there we go, just like that. And we will name this so that is called Colonel By Drive. Then it becomes Sussex. Okay. So that is Colonel By Drive. So Colonel By Drive. Colonel By Drive. And then over here, we actually have Sussex. Um, I will just add in a little bit of road here so that we can give it a different name. So we have Sussex Drive. Sussex Drive. That will come back to the main road called that we'll come back to Rideau Street and that is what that is going to be called and we are going to go ahead and remove this good just like that very good okay and we will make this kind of the way it is in real life so we'll have St. Patrick Street and Murray Street which are one way roads that both go to King Edward Avenue. So let's go ahead and put those in. And, hmm, okay, just taking a look at how this all runs. So it comes into the bay. Okay, so it's like over, over here. Okay, so these are actually both one way roads. So let's go ahead and see what we have for one-way roads. Okay. Let's see. And that's a one-way road, one-way road. Oh my good. Ah, one way with grass or with... There's nothing with bike lanes going one way. Okay. So then we will make it just with grass. And let's put it over here. Uh, we'll just make sure I have that in the right place. Pretty much in the center. It's pretty much in the center about over here. There we go. And we'll bring this one over here. Bring, bring it back. Actually, I'm going to take it from this way. It might be a little bit easier. There we go. And then let me go ahead and change direction. There we go. Okay. It will run like that. Let's check up on the population. 6,400. Okay, good. And Strathcona Park has now 27 people using the park. Okay. And let's go ahead and make the rest of this. 
So we will have St. Patrick Street up and around a big hump. Okay, so it kind of goes around and then crosses. Let's see where it crosses exactly. So below Porter Island. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this in. Okay. So let's use Kirby Tool and bring it, curve it up to there. And then I will use two lane highway. And it comes around like there. Okay. And then there's this other road that will come out over here like that. Okay. And then on the other side, it runs out. So it also comes together. So it does the same thing on the other side. turns into Alexander Alexandra Bridge okay now we're not gonna make the bridge quite I think so what I'm gonna do is just to bring this to there and I will have that turn into a main road like that and then I will bring another one-way road this way okay there we go, that worked out swellingly. So let's call this St. Patrick Street, I believe. St. Patrick Street. Oh, so that's Murray Street and St. Patrick Street. Okay, so we'll call that Murray Street. Okay, and that is St. Patrick Street. St. Patrick Street. Okay, like that. There we go. All right. Um, Murray Street, I think we can extend that all the way to there. And then St. Patrick, that is going to go all the way to there. There we go. So that is named. Okay, good. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting in the rest of the streets that uh, are supposed to go in here. So let's take a look at what there is. So we have Cumberland that goes all the way. We have uh, Cathart Street. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Cathart Street. Because that's where Cumberland is going to go up to. So Cathart Street is going to be up here. Let's go back to bike path. There we go. And mm, so that is going to be called Cathcart Street up here. Okay, Cathcart Street, and then coming up we have Cumberland which is this street that's going to go all the way up to Cathcart. Go, intersect, and then it goes up to Cathcart. There we go. So let's extend the name of this. And we'll call it Cathcart. There we go. Just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like our residential area has populated rather nicely, which is good. Let's see what the population is. 6,700. Okay. And what is the population of university? 550 students only. It's almost barely breaking even at this point. 
Okay. So let's see what other road comes in here. Dalhousie Street. Um, comes across. Dalhousie, which goes all the way up to... So we have Bolton Street and Bottler Street. So let me go ahead and put those in. Bolton Street and Bottler. And we have, let's go ahead and put those in. Bolton Street. And... curved road in there so I will let that stay as is so Bolton Street and Bottler Street so Bolton Street and Bottler Street there we go okay and here we have so Nicholas Street there, but that turns into Dalhousie. So that is going to be Dalhousie Street that runs all the way through to Bottler. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. There we go. Okay, that is Dalhousie Street. Dalhousie Street. Okay. And so, let's see, we have St. George. That runs along there. We have St. George and York Street and Clarence. So let's put the three of those in. St. George. One and two and a third row. Put in these three streets. Okay. So that's how that goes. And is there one more? Oh, so we have George Street, York Street, Clarence Street. So this will be George Street. George Street, York Street, York Street, and Clarence Street. Okay. Mm, just about the great work it's supposed to be. Okay. So, we have residential that is up in demand again. So, let's go ahead and fill that in over here. Put in some residential along here. Uh, I'll leave it to there actually. Maybe some commercial will come in. I will put some residential in here for the park area. There we go. Okay. So we'll let people move into there as well. Okay. So let's see what roads are going to go in here now. So after um, St. Perrick's, we have. Gigas Avenue. Yes, Gigas Avenue. There we go. There we go and Gigas Avenue. Oops. Gigas Avenue. Is it with two S's? Oh, uh, no, it's with one S. Biggest Avenue. There we go. And after that, we have St. Andrew Street. 
we go. There, and then to there. That is going to be St. Andrew Street. St. Andrew Street. Okay. And then we have Breyer Street. Um, Breyer Street. Okay. We put Breyer Street in here. There we go. In fact. And Bruyere Street. Bruyere Street as uh, such. Okay, good. And on the other side of this, we do have them stick out a little bit. So we have um, the crescent kind of thing that comes around. So Gigas to St. Cathart. So Gigas to St. Cathart. Okay, so we're not going to be able to take it to St. Cathart because of spacing restrictions. How far out could I take this? There we go. Um, I will actually take it out to here. There we go. Um, that will come to... Actually, I'm going to bring this up to here first. There we go. Like that. And we will... This will be Gigas Ave Avenue that will come around. Mm. Okay, there we go. And then we will extend this road into here. Okay. And St. Andrew, which we will extend to up here. Okay, good. So that fills in that area. Okay. So let's see what else will come around here. So we have um, Nelson Street that will come up to um, Murray Street that actually continues out. Um, Nelson Street continues across. So let's put Nelson Street where is Nelson Street? Do I not have a Nelson Street in here? Let me just double check the map here. How does this work? Oh, I did not put that in. That's one of the roads that I have to uh, skip out on. Okay. So let's put it from here. Uh, here we go, Nelson Street. That's going to be Nelson Street. Nelson Street. Okay. And. Let's see the next road that will come in. So, York Street will definitely extend. And it will go on just one more block. Um, St. Andrew becomes uh, Busoil Drive. Okay. So this road actually comes around here. So I'll use Kirby tool to make this. There we go, and it will come down to there like that. And it comes down across. Um, uh, I will not curve that, curve it that way. I will just simply have it come down and then curve. Uh, this is, is supposed to into Colborg Street. There we go. To Colborg, which is well, over here, I think. There we go. And what is this? 
over here. Man Avenue. That should be Kolborg. Okay, so we will make Kolborg run through here. And yes, okay. So let's put in Kolborg. We'll go here. And runs right into that road there. Okay. And Kolborg Street. Kolborg Street. Okay. And this is going to be Beausoleil Drive. Uh, Beausoleil Drive. Okay. Just kind of goes in like this. Okay, and let's put in Murray Street that crosses them both. Um, okay. So we're going to put in York Street first. So York Street, no, Small Street, so this is going to be York, it comes in, so that is York Street, and that is just simply an extension, and uh, there we go, let's grab it, extend it to there, that is going to be York Street. And then we have Clarence, and that goes to Nelson, just like this. There we go. And then Clarence actually continues here as well. So we have Clarence that will continue. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit. Clarence, and then it comes over here. So that is um, Clarence Street. Okay, Clarence Street. Okay, and we have St. Patrick that runs through. So we have Old St. Patrick that will run through over here. So that is going to be Old St. Patrick. Old St. Patrick. Okay. And then we also have Patro Street that will just simply come in here as such. So that is Patro Street. Patro Street. Okay. And okay, so let's see if there's anything else that comes in here. Uh, Chappelle Street. Uh, this can actually just come up to there like that. Okay. Mm. Then we have. So we have Tor Tormy Street and Heaney Street. Torney Street. Torney Street and Healy Street. Or Heary Street. There we go. So that is going to be called uh, Tormy Street. Tormy Street. And over here we have Heaney Street. Heaney Street. There we go. Okay, and then let's see what other road will come here. So we have Wurttemberg. Um, so we have Charlotte that comes up. Where 
just gonna make War Timber come up here like this. Like that. And that will be Wurtemberg Street. There we go. Wurtemberg Street. Yes, Wurtemberg Street. Yes, that is how it's spelled. Okay. Lower Charlotte. Hmm. To up there, okay. So that so we have Lower Charlotte, Lower Charlotte Street, Lower Charlotte Street. Okay, there we go. So that is done, and we are just about ready to take on some more resident residential zoning so let's see if there's any park area that will come in here so the major hill so there is the major hill park majors hill park and let's paint that in as a park area so that is going to be major hills park there we go uh, major hills Hills Park, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's see for city services what we should do. So we should put in a fire station. We'll definitely have a fire station in here, and we should have EMS as well. EMS coverage will be important, and we will put in a death care as well. Let's go ahead and put that over here. There we go. Okay, so uh, Lower Town Crematorium, Lower Town Crematorium, and then we will have um, Clarence and Dalhousie, Clarence and Dalhousie Fire, and we will also have the Clarence and Dalhousie. Uh, Clarence and Dal Hoozy EMS. And we'll switch all of these to random. There we go, just like that. Okay. So let's put in, let's start putting in residential zoning here. We are just about ready for that. Let's put it all the way up to here. Like that. Hmm. No, that's okay. Just as such. Uh, there we go. Remove that. And there we go. There we go. And we just fine tune this a little bit. Okay. And let's fill in this area here. There we go. And there we go. And let's fill in this as well. There we go. Good. All right. So let's see here what else we've got to do. Uh, we have got to look at the school situation. I know that there is a secondary school that comes up here. We'll deal with that later. Um, initially, um, actually, I want to put some commercial, some low-density commercial in along here. This will all be low-density commercial. Okay. And let's see a school that would come in here. I'm sure that there must be one. And let's see what there is for schools. So there is the, uh, hmm. There's the Ottawa School of Art that comes over here at the intersection. 
over here. So I will just face it this way. At Sussex and St. George. Let me double check there. Ah, yes. So it's right above St. George. Okay. So it's actually just on the other side of St. George over here. So Ottawa School of Art. Is that what it's called? Um, Ottawa School of Art. Yes. Okay, so let's find a school. Looking for something uh, s small capacity, but I think larger size. Let's take a look at this. 300. Tamo Shanter. That's a little bit small. This is better. How much is this? 400 people. 320. I think that's good. And let's put it on this. Oh, we can't put it on that side. Okay, so let's put it over here. So that will be the Ottawa School of Arts. Okay. Ottawa School of Arts. Okay. So that is in. And I think that what we can also do is uh, we, there's a couple more parks that can go in here, and I think we will expand transit. So we have Major Hills Park. So what other park can go in here? Let's take a look. And there will be the Bingham Park at Cathart and Dalhousie. Bingham Park. So Bingham Park, Dalhousie, and uh, Cathart. So over here we will have the Bingham Park. I will actually put it inside here. So we will put the Bing Bingham Park in here. It's on the wrong block, but this is a better place to put it. So that is Bingham Park. Bingham Park. Okay. And then let's see. Another one is going to come inside here, actually. Uh, in here. And that is going to be McDonald Gardens. Oh, that's a larger park that goes inside there. Um, Jules Moran Park, actually, is what I'm going to put in. The Jules Moran Park over here. There we go, like that. The Jules Morin Park. Jules Morin Park. Double six. Yeah, that's spelled correctly, yes. Okay. And let's see the population. Only 159 people so far. And... I hope that we do get some commercial development along there. So let's go ahead and set up the uh, Major Hills Park. So, okay, so that comes along like that. So let's see. Let's put in some... Let's go ahead and set this park up. So let's start with putting in the small main gate, which we'll put over here. And we'll put side gates all along. Side gates, side gates. We will see if I see if I could allow people to kind of cross over. Um, hmm. Okay. It's not allowing me to put it anywhere along here, which is not good. Okay, so I think I will just keep it along here. There we go. Okay. And put it in here as well. One, two, and three. Now I just understand how I, why I'm not able to put it along there, but I'm not for some reason. Okay, so I think I will just have to leave that out and not cross it over. Okay. So I will leave that. There we go. 
go into there. Okay. And just like that, I think that that is going to be actually enough. Oh, you know what? I am going to just make the part come around. There we go, just like that. I'll have it come around. And we'll put the amenities in here. So let's put a couple of park plazas. And we'll put the park cafe over here. The info booth will just come in there. Restroom we will put in here. Chess boards we'll put one, two. Um, and then we'll put some playgrounds. One, two, three. And we'll put a couple of trampoline parks just along there like that. Okay, and where does that get us to 965? Let's run celebrate night tours info. And are we holding at 965? Okay, I would like to get it up to 1120. So let's take a look here. Oh, how many people are? Oh, we now have 314 people living here. Very good. And so let's finish this up here. So 965 and holding. Okay, so I got to add in a couple more things there. Let's put in a playground or two. One and two playgrounds. That should do the trick. So it's 1055. Let's we'll see if it's going to go up a little bit more. No, is that going to be it? Okay, so then I will probably put in some gazebos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see where that gets us to 1235. Fantastic. And we already have one visitor that came in. Okay, so our policy is set. Yes, they are. And so that is now going to be destined to be a level 5 park as we got to pass an entertainment score of 1120. Perfect. So now let's look at postal services. And let's go to industries. And I will set up a postal service. So a postal office there. I'm going to put a postal office out over here as well. And right there, and this will be the Lower Town Postal Office. So Lower Town Postal Office, there we go. And another city service that I would like to add in that we have not put in is actually uh, road maintenance. Now let's just take a quick look here and see how this is going along. So, so five trucks already out okay and right before I get to road maintenance actually I'm going to do road maintenance now first and then we'll remove the traffic lights since there's no rush to do that so let's look at how road maintenance condition is they're all red and bad so we're going to actually put in one two uh, actually one two two should be enough for the moment Let's put in just two and see how that goes. So I will put in a road service um, over here. So let's see. Um, a center town road service. Let's think about where I should put it. Center town is more over here. Okay. Um, I'll actually put it over here. So. Expanded road maintenance, cheap road maintenance. That sounds good to me. So let's call this the Center Town Road Maintenance. So that is uh, Center Center Town Road Maintenance, and we will call this the Central East Road Maintenance, which we're going to put over here. Um, I'm thinking of a good location for it, and I think that up inside here is a good location. Oh, 
up along York Street, or maybe I could find a different road along here. Maybe I'll put it on Colonel Drive. Now, I know it's a main road, but it's an easy access in and out. Yeah, let's put it on Colonel Drive. So call this to Central East. Road Maintenance. Central East Road Maintenance. Okay, and we'll start seeing these turn to yellow, so let's take a look at the road conditions. And yeah, as soon as uh, as the trucks are moving along the roads, they start to turn to yellow, which means that they're going to be become boosted. And we're seeing that happen here as well. So now it's just with... We have 50 vehicles at each location. So with 100 vehicles running through the city, I think that we should have some pretty boosted roads. We'll come back to that in a moment and see how that's going. So let's go ahead and remove the traffic lights that were put in here. Um, I'll actually put some commercial along here. Let's put some commercial zoning. Some light commercial along the main road here. I'll put some light commercial... Um, I will put some over here. Let's just sweep this whole block there. Good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and remove the traffic lights that were put in by the game. There we go. Oh, we forgot about these. Yeah, we should remove all of these. And there's no traffic light there. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and move along here and remove all these traffic lights along the main road and there we go remove these and the way up to here Good. there we go and remove that there we go okay Okay, and then let's see along here. So we have one that got put in there. And that's all I see for there. Okay, good. So let's take out all of these as well. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. So that is done. So let's go ahead and take a look at the road condition situation. And let's see here. Road maintenance conditions. Uh, well, it's certainly gotten better. There we go. We got a truck going through there. Okay. So it's a little bit better, I'd say about 60%, 65% of our roads have been maintained so far. Oh, and we have a water shortage issue, so let's add in a water tower to deal with that right away. There we go. That'll get us back up into the green, yep. Yeah. I'll actually put a second one in there, there we go. Just to make sure that we have enough for a little while. There we go. And that'll get rid of all the water warnings. Good. And I am going to fill in some more uh, residential zoning along here, I think. Uh, let me oh, let's hit resident, select residential. Okay. Put that in. And let's make these residential as well. Okay. And let's see up here. I think that so that is probably going to be commercial. I think. Um, so we have all the residential designated in there. That I think that I'm willing to put for the moment. We could put some residential in along here. I think. Let's go ahead and put in some residential along here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Like that. And up here as well. 
Oh, all right. So that will give some space for people to move in. We're now at a population of 31,000 people. And something else that I think that I want to do is extend the bus service. So we have the uh, King Edward bus, but I think that I'm going to definitely extend that all the way to the top here. And well, let's put in some bus stops along here. One, two, so maybe you can give some access to some more people. There we go. And let's put in a bus stop there. Okay, good. And let's check our university situation. So we now have 786 students, which is up from the last time that we checked. And we need some more academic works. So let's put in uh, music this time. And how many academic works do we have? Two out of four. So we need to increase attractiveness. Oh, we have leveled up. I did not even notice that we had leveled up. So we are now, it is now a two-star university. So we need to get the attractiveness up. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see what we can put in for to make it more attractive. I think that another school of something would um, probably be a wise idea. Let's put in... Um, oh, that's university. We're looking for trade school. Okay. So let's see what else there is here. School of Economics. So let's go put that in. School of Economics. That carries 1,330 people. Or a capacity of 1,330. Okay. So up quite a bit there. And then let's put in a statue, some uh, art, uh, some clubs perhaps. Um, so we are at 305, so we need to get up to 405, so that's not going to be hard to do. Uh, let's see what else we have. So liberal arts statue, we'll put that there. And dance club, we'll put that in as well. And that should, that should actually pretty much do it. Yes, it did, 480. Okay, now it's costing us a bit of money, but Hopefully, it's going to make us quite a bit of money in the longer run. So, 786 students. So, we're going to wait for that to populate, hopefully, a little bit more. And especially with more residential on the way, I imagine that that will probably happen. Let's just put in some city services here um, for people. I think that that would be a good idea. We'll put a fire station in here. So, we're going to call this the... Um, Buse, the Beausoleil fire station, the Beausoleil fire station, and we will set it to random, and maybe we will put in a small school here, so yeah, York Street Public School, which goes over here, yes, indeed. So let's go ahead and put that in. It's a small school, just for the local residents here. We don't need anything fancy. So I'll go ahead and call that the York Street Public School. York Street Public School. Okay. So that'll get this area going a little bit. So what about health services? How are we doing? For health services, we seem to be doing just fine. Oh, that's death care. I always seem to make that mistake. Okay, so, oh, we do need another EMS station here. Let's put it over here. Okay. So we'll call that Coburg EMS. Coburg EMS. And we'll set that to random. Okay, and let's set up some attractiveness. I think that we should put in this park. So let's take a look here. Let's set up this park, and we will make it. Uh, we'll make a small main gate, and then we will have side gates. So we will put a side gate over here somewhere, uh, wherever it will. Oh, <laughs> yeah, side gate. Um, Put in this side gate here, side gate here, put in this side gate here, and another one here and here. 
So lots of access points into the park. Mm, let's bring that up to there. And then to there. To there, there, to there. Okay. Oops, and let's bring this to there. And let's connect the entire thing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's put in a park plaza. Let's put in the park cafe over here. And restroom we'll put over here. And a info booth we'll put there. Chess board we will put in here. And let's put in the trampoline park, which will fit over here. And let's put in a playground, which we'll nicely squeeze in there. And we'll put a second one in there. Then we'll fill in some space with gazebos. And then let's see where the score of this park lands. Um, yeah, well, let's put it there. One, and that's it, just the one. It's going to allow, okay. So that's, I think that's about all the space that we have to put things in. Okay, so let's see what score that gets us to 848. So maybe if I turn on uh, Celebrate and Night Tours, we can get that up to 920. Over time, they usually increase in entertainment, but that's for sure to become a level 3 park, a star 3 park eventually. And let me put, let me just fill this in with residential since we've got all the services all done for it. And there we go. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Oh, let's get this over here as well. And let me just grab this area, this stretch of residential zoning there. Okay. And then just a little bit more commercial area. Let's get a little bit of commercial area inside here. There we go. We'll make that all commercial. Oops. Road connect. There we go. Oh, and let me just put this as a residential here. There we go. All right, so that looks good. And this is going to be where we're going to leave off this segment of our build of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. And I will see you next time when we continue. Take care.